Today we're going to talk about diesel fuel analysis. So a couple of observations. Number one, diesel fuel is costly. And number two, diesel fuel system repairs are also costly. As a result, the quality, stability, and cleanliness of diesel fuel are more important than ever. Here's a schematic of a typical diesel fuel delivery system. Uh, there's a lot of complexity with all the components here. Uh, the common rail fuel system has greatly increased the efficiency of many engines. Unfortunately, it's also subjected the diesel fuels to higher pressures and temperatures, and there's a need for the fuel to be constantly circulated and filtered. And so the diesel fuel itself needs to be able to withstand these issues. In terms of quality standards for diesel fuel, there's various sources ranging from the ASTM, the engine manufacturers themselves, uh, various associations, and the fuel suppliers. What we're looking at in this chart is the ASTM D975 uh, quality standard for number one, number two, and number four diesel fuel. It's important to know that fuel suppliers typically blend in some ratio of number one and number two diesel fuel at various times throughout the year based on the ambient expected temperature conditions. Biodiesels are becoming more common and they are fuels created from vegetable oils or, and or animal fats. Uh, biodiesel blends up to 5% usually don't cause any issues, although it's important to make note that there are some potential problems with biodiesels uh, and, and to be on top of those from a risk perspective. Uh, some of those issues are during the conversion of, uh, of an engine to biodiesel. Another issue is in cold weather. And finally, a third is the seals on older engines that use rubber gaskets and hoses. So there's lots of benefits of doing diesel fuel analysis, starting off with the optimization of your fuel economy by assuring constant fuel quality. Aside from that, there's also ensuring cleanliness of your diesel fuel, tracking seasonal changes, or making sure that it's suitable for cold weather operation, and lastly, troubleshooting engine performance issues that may arise. Typically, the testing is done at different times, ranging from while it's being delivered, while it's being stored, while it's being transferred, or to troubleshoot specific problems. If you want to collect a sample of diesel fuel, there's typically three ways of doing that, from a dispensing nozzle, uh, from the fuel tank, or from the storage tank. And here's the procedures for each. The actual testing of diesel fuel can be done on an individual test basis or on a package basis. Uh, depending on what your application is, there is deliveries or routine testing, testing at bulk tanks or contamination, doing testing on a seasonal basis, uh, confirmation of fuel specs, or troubleshooting. In terms of the frequencies of testing, uh, fuel delivery should be tested or at least have some validation performed on every shipment. Typically this is done from the fuel suppliers in a certificate of analysis or C of A. This is something that fuel suppliers should be able to provide you with. If you're checking bulk tanks or fuel islands or fuel storage, the frequency will depend on what you're trying to achieve, whether that's routine testing or to get ready for the season or to troubleshoot long-term storage problems. If you're monitoring individual machines for troubleshooting, it's not typically done on a routine basis, but more of an exception basis when those problems arise. And you should contact the laboratory um, for the specific problem you're experiencing to make sure we're doing the right tests. Thank you very much. If you have any questions, please feel free to contact Fluid Life. Thank you for your time.